the world is longing for coming together again. And uh, what we plan now for end of August probably will be the first major get together in person on a global level, um, bringing together all stakeholders of global society. But there will be one other difference between the two meetings. Uh, the Davos Agenda Week was mainly to take stock, uh, to look at long-term visions and so on. But now the Forum has established numerous task forces um, to elaborate more concrete proposals. And those proposals will be discussed in Singapore. End of August is very important because the meeting here is taking place before the UN General Agenda um, week. It's uh, taking place uh, before the G20, which will meet in October. And it's taking place particularly also before uh, Glasgow and uh, uh, COP26. Uh, so we plan to have a major input into all those uh, three, um, um, into those major global meetings. So there is another reason for coming here, because um, 2021 will be the first year where the GDP of Asia, in terms of purchasing power, will exceed quite substantially the GDP of the rest of the world. So it's also a kind of demonstration of the geopolitical and geoeconomic importance this region has acquired uh, over the last uh, decades. And I also feel uh, when, when we look at uh, uh, power centers in the world, uh, we usually speak, uh, rightly so, about um, China and uh, the US, maybe Europe, but actually um, the ASEAN region is um, the fastest, um, fundamentally, the fastest growing uh, region in the world. Um, it represents um, uh, a size uh, which is uh, larger than Europe in terms of population. Um, so it's also a, a um, how shall I say, a reference to the new um, political and economic uh, situation which we have in the world.